We've reported before that the Charlotte Mecklenburg School District bought a crisis alert system so that in a moment like this one this morning, everyone in the school would be alerted so they could know what was happening and that they could react. We've also reported CMS says the system is not working correctly and they're fighting to get their money back. And now our education reporter Elsa Gillis has obtained some internal CMS documents revealing what they say they've been dealing with. The system was supposed to bring an extra level of protection to high schoolers during these frightening times. The crisis alert system was described as a high tech way to alert students and staff to an emergency. Many of the issues revealed in these documents I got were related to the beacon. Those are supposed to sound the alarm when a teacher or staff member presses an alarm button on a badge provided by Centegix. Let's start with Charlotte East Language Academy, which, according to this timeline, went live as a pilot school in May. Teacher needed assistance 6619 and pressed badge. System did not work. And get this, the documents reveal in June, subcontractors for Centegix did a poor job with beacons in places such as lockers, door frames, stairway handles. Beacons falling and or going off randomly with numerous emails from schools to our department with complaints. This for a system tasked with protecting children, a job expected to be handled with precision. Now this is cutting edge technology, so glitches are to be expected, but these documents show problems persisted into the fall, with beacons not working at a handful of schools. In January, the superintendent publicly addressed the issues, giving Centegix an ultimatum to fix it in 30 days or the relationship would be over. But here, in what's described as CMS QA walks that started January 22nd, a total of 91 beacons malfunctioned during QA. Various issues with delays, not being able to clear alerts, tracking, and other portal issues that will cause issues for CMS police. Just yesterday, Channel 9 asked the superintendent where things stood with Centegix, just over a week after he announced they were severing ties. We're in the process of trying to recoup uh, the funds that were already spent uh, on the project. Now, Elsa, we heard plenty from CMS in those documents, but what are you hearing from that company, Centegix? Well, the company stands by the testing results and says its system works as promised and even said two alerts work successfully on the same day that CMS announced its decision to drop Centegix. Uh, we reported on those as well, but you pointed out some pretty glaring errors in some of the installations they did in lockers. Right. Well, the company didn't respond specifically to those issues, yeah. but I can tell you I've learned Centegix says contractors are an important part of the installation process. And since August, uh, it says it was working with a contractor that was preferred by CMS. Okay. Sounds so, like a little conflict. blame shifting going we'll see on what there. Happens. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, Elsa, Elsa, for continuing to push on this issue.